In the mid-2000s, the United Engine Corporation, UEC, was established as a result of a strategic consolidation initiative. This initiative united over 50 distinct legal entities to establish a unified design and production juggernaut in the Russian aerospace sector. This consolidation represented a substantial departure from the fragmented approach of the post-Soviet era, establishing a more coordinated and efficient industrial base for engine manufacturing. UEC has achieved production volumes that exceed Soviet-era peaks by 2023, indicating remarkable progress. The corporation's production of approximately 3,000 engines is a 1.5-fold increase from the historical peak of 1,900 engines in the 1980s. This growth is indicative of a qualitative evolution, as the corporation has broadened its competencies to include new markets, such as large power turbines, GTE-110M, and marine power units, GTA-8, in addition to a quantitative development. The large manufacturing setup of the current UEC stands out due to its high-quality management, strong financial stability, and operational efficiency. The corporation has effectively maintained systematic modernization efforts while implementing a balanced approach to capacity utilization. Western manufacturers, operating within more complex stakeholder environments and global integration, are not as successful as this organization. UEC presented its strategic vision during its 15th anniversary celebration, focusing on three primary objectives immediate production volume expansion, cost reduction, and market expansion into new segments. The corporation faces the unique challenge of simultaneously pursuing these objectives within a condensed time frame, given the approval of the Comprehensive Program for Aviation Industry Development by the Russian government. The corporation's ambitious production objectives are indicative of its critical role in the Russian aerospace strategy. UEC is anticipated to deliver over 3,364 civil aviation engines by 2030, which is a tenfold increase in engine deliveries. Both fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters utilize a variety of engine types, including the PD-8, PD-14, PS-90A, and TV-7117 series, resulting in substantial production scaling. UEC has pursued a more independent path in technological development, in contrast to Western manufacturers who benefit from international collaboration and technology sharing. As evidenced by the four-year development cycle of the PD-8 engine, the corporation has made substantial progress in the incorporation of digital technology, thereby reducing development timelines. Key components of UEC's modernization strategy include automation, robotics, and additive manufacturing. UEC's extensive investment program, which anticipates enterprise duties for decades to come, bolsters its ambitious growth objectives. In addition to sustained military orders, the corporation is expanding its product portfolio by developing a high-thrust engine that is based on the PD-35 gas generator. Western manufacturers typically maintain a more balanced portfolio between civil and military applications, in contrast to this approach. UEC's objective is to more closely align with Western practices in the development of after-sales services, with a particular emphasis on life cycle contracts and consistent service quality by looking beyond 2040. Ceramic composites, polymer composites, and titanium intermetallics are among the critical technologies that the corporation is currently conducting research on. Future developments will integrate advanced manufacturing techniques such as ceramic printing and rotary and linear friction welding. Western manufacturers such as GE, Pratt & Whitney, and Rolls-Royce operate within a highly interconnected global market with diverse revenue streams. Conversely, UEC has maintained a more focused approach that prioritizes domestic markets and state contracts. The Russian manufacturer is a leader in the development of military engines. However, it continues to encounter difficulties in meeting the standards of Western civil aviation applications, particularly in the areas of fuel efficiency and reliability. UEC adheres to Russian standards rather than Federal Aviation Administration or European Union Aviation Safety Agency requirements, which is a fundamental distinction in certification frameworks. International trade restrictions and sanctions, along with this, have solidified UEC's unique development trajectory, setting it apart from the Western-dominated global aviation engine market. Nevertheless, 
This isolation has contributed to the development of innovation and self-reliance in critical technological sectors. In the global aerospace industry, UEC's trajectory stands out due to its technological independence, state support, and strong domestic focus. The corporation has made significant strides in innovation and production capabilities despite encountering obstacles in certain technological areas and global market integration. Its future success will be contingent upon its ability to effectively balance ambitious growth objectives with technological advancement and cost efficiency, all while operating within a regulatory and market environment that is distinct from that of its Western counterparts. Now, do you think Russia should bring in its own aviation standards in competition to the West? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.